My uh, where history is made moment, I guess it's got to be uh, the three tries that are scored at Wembley. Um, a bit of a story with that actually, because uh, it's not as black and white as a lot of people think. When people talk about it, they always uh, refer to the third try that I scored because I think if uh, I remember correctly, I got the ball about 40 metres out. Oh, I think it might be about 50 metres out from the Saints. So oh, about, about 80 metres out from the Saints try line. Oh, so people talk about the third try. Now it was, I think it was about 40 metres out. Um, and people always talk about that being the moment because obviously the first player to score a hat-trick at Wembley and, um, and everything that came with that. Um, but a lot of people don't realise actually the second try was the hardest of the three tries to score. Um, the first try was scored in the first half just before half time where I kind of just sort of bumped over the try line. But the second try, um, we'd come out after halftime, we were just leading in the game. We'd come out after halftime and Bernard Dwyer was playing absolutely brilliant for the Bulls, uh, former Saints man. I think he'd been to five Challenge Cup finals with St. Helens earlier and lost all of them. Um, this was a great opportunity for him to get that win. Um, and he was playing out of his skin and he had just scored a try after halftime, so he really had the game. Uh, I think Saints had kicked off, um, and, but we'd but given away a penalty and we'd kicked the ball down and um, we tapped the ball and we weren't that far away from St. Helens line now. And Brian Smith had given me a job before kickoff. And he had said, whenever you're around to play the ball and we get a quick play of the ball, your job is just to get in there and run out of acting half at a million miles an hour. And we did that. And I think it was Bernard that got the quick play of the ball. I'm not, I've had a lot of knocks to the head. We get the quick play of the ball. I'm there acting half. I get out acting half and I just go for it. I'm heading for the try line and there was, as I remember, there was a little gap on the try line about two metres wide and I'm about 10 metres out. But I, when I get about three metres out, that gap fills in by a player by the name of Vila Mataltia. Now, if anyone remembers, Vila wasn't a small bloke. He was about six foot tall, but six foot wide as well. And over the course of my career, people used to always say to me that, you know, yeah, where'd you get that great footwork from? Just silky, silky skills and great sidestep and all of that and great speed off the mark. Uh, and I said, and I'll be honest with you, yeah, just nonsense. I, I had what was built into every creature on the planet. It's called fright and flight. Because when that big bald head was coming at me, man, I just slammed on the brakes. I went to spin because the spin takes a lot of the momentum out of their head. If you, if you don't do something, you're going to cop it flush. So I went to spin in the tackle and as Vila hit me, it kind of propelled me out of a couple of other tacklers that was there and spun me through. And as I spun to the ground and as I was falling towards the ground, I could see the try line in front of me. And I had the ball in my right, uh, right arm and I just reached out and I just got the ball on the try line and obviously everyone jumped up in the air because it was the end where the Bradford Bulls supporters were were, were um, all standing and one of the but one of the things that people don't know is actually in the in the act of scoring that try so when I went through and Vila's come through to hit me his both, both of his hands had come through as they do and they try and hit grab and control and as he's gone through and I've, as I've spun out of his tackle, his hands have slid down and obviously he's tried to grab something and where he's got it hooked, he's got it hooked underneath my shorts. So as I spin around, he pulls my shorts and a lot of people don't, my little fella popped out. And as I fell to the ground and I scored the try, what do your teammates want to do? They want to pull you off the ground and celebrate. Well, I didn't. I was trying to hold on to the grass because all I could see in front of me was a line of photographers just going pop, pop, pop. And the last thing I wanted to see was my little smurf on the front page of one of the trade bags the following week. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people don't know a lot. Uh, don't know much about that.